I look naked, but I'm not. It's a tube top. Hey, so today's video is going to be all about my permanent Japanese hair straightening. Um, I got this done back in December of last year. <laughs> last year as in like last month. Um, so let's see. I'm going to check the calendar to make sure I get the date right. Um, I got this done December 19th. So it has been 19 days. And I thought it was about time to kind of make a compilation of my experience, what what happened, what it is, what's good. <laughs> okay, so back when I wanted to get this done for the first time, like two years ago, I went on to YouTube and tried looking for videos about it. And there was kind of a few videos. Um, the first one I watched was Rachel and June her video on her experience but she got hers done in like japan so um i couldn't really relate to that and then i watched um oh, i forget her name i'll look it up and i'll insert it but i watched a youtuber who lived in dallas she got hers done at june's hair salon and i have family in dallas so I was like, that's perfect. I'll go visit my family in Dallas and then I'll get it done in Dallas. I'll just like knock it out. But my hair was like this long. I was trying to grow it out from a previous cut. Um, I cut my hair like jaw length. And at the time it was like liberating and I liked it. But like three weeks later, I literally was like waiting for it to grow out. So once it grew out to like past my shoulders, I wanted to get this treatment done because my hair type is very like frizzy. It's not wavy and it's not curly, it's just like frizzy. And maybe I've just like never learned how to keep up with my curls or like take care of them. But my hair has just been always such like a pain in the, in the ass. <laughs> my hair has always been such a pain um i'd always have to blow dry it or straighten it i never liked leaving it natural because i just thought that it looked like way too frizzy and um yeah so the first time i got it done was in 2017 like april like april may of 2017 and um it was good um at the time it was my first time getting it done, so I didn't really know what to expect. But this time, this most recent time, I have more of like a completed opinion slash view of it. And I think I can speak about it more. But um, yeah, so from May of 2017 until December of 2018, it grew out. It was growing out and growing out and if you don't know, um, Japanese hair straightening is basically a permanent perm um, and usually when you think about perms, it's like curly hair but this treatment sets your hair straight so you can wet it, you can wash it, you can like do anything to it but once you wash it or get it wet, it dries straight, like permanently straight. So. I, last time I washed it was like two days ago, um, but yeah, it is now down, let me, okay, so, it's like almost to my butt at this point, it's pretty long, yeah, so my natural hair was growing out, and um, it looked fine because my hair isn't really like thick. Well, it is thick, but it's not like curly ringlets or like waves. It just kind of grows out straight slash frizzy. So it wasn't too noticeable until it got to like my ear. Cause, let's see. So my roots, my natural hair started growing out until about right here. Once it was here, I was like, okay. We need to fix this because it was looking kind of busted. I'll insert some pictures, but it 
like it would wave and then it would just stop and be straight. And I dealt with it for a few months, like almost a whole year. But um, yeah, it was time to get it redone. Once my hair, my natural hair started growing out, I booked an appointment at um, the Bell Salon and Spa. I'll insert their details in the description. But um, yeah, so the whole process is pretty long. It takes about four to five hours, sometimes more, depending on your hair type and hair length. Um, mine took about four hours. I went in at 8 a.m. and didn't get out till like 12, no, 11.30. So it was like three and a half hours, um, which wasn't so bad. I was expecting it to be longer just because my hair is so long now. But towards the end, we had like two other people working on it, two other stylists working on it, so it went by pretty fast. Um, but yeah, so basically the whole process is you come into the salon with your hair in its natural form, and they put the straightening cream slash chemical on your hair. They basically like soak all of it, and then you sit with like a heat dryer thing around your hair for like 15-ish minutes. Um, then you get out, then they rinse out the solution, blow dry your hair, and it dries straight. It's not like pin straight, but it dries like straight. Once it dries, then they take an iron, a straightener, and go over your whole head like literally every single strand of hair gets straightened like even my baby hairs um they kept on going over and over my baby hairs and i was like oh my god they're gonna fall out i'm not gonna have edges anymore they go from like your roots to like the nape of your neck every single hair gets straightened and it looks so nice and so straight and then they put a neutralizing chemical in it to like set the straightness. This is where the perm comes from. So they set the straight hair and then once it's like soaked in the neutralizing chemical, then you wash that out and then wash and rinse your hair. And then you come out and then they blow dry your hair and it's straight, like it's pin straight. Um, even my bangs, so I have bangs right now. Um, back when it was in my natural hair, they were shorter and had more volume, but they decided to straighten my bangs too. So they came out really straight. Like when I come out of the shower, they kind of stick out from my head. Um, and I use, so I use this. <laughs> like a roller, like a Velcro roller. And it does a really good job of giving my bangs volume, but not making them look like super curled in. So what I do is when I get out of the shower, I let my bangs dry straight and they literally dry like straight. And then I take my bangs. Um, I should probably trim them because now I can't really do this anymore. I've been just pushing them to the side. But I take my bangs while they're like damp and I just stick them and roll. And it stays up there by itself and I leave it in there for like 15, 20 minutes. If I leave it in too long, then they just like look like a pinup girl bang which I'm not the kind of look I'm going for, but yeah. Um, but yeah, they're dry right now, so it won't really work. So I'm just pushing them to the side. But yeah, so that was the whole process, I think. So once I got the whole treatment done, um, my stylist told me not to wash my hair for three days. So... And he said even longer if you can, 
the longer the better but honestly after like two days I was like dying to wash it because my hair is very oily like very oily so I wash it every single day and not washing it for three days was like ugh, the worst the worst plus I had work I worked all three days and I just felt like so greasy and like dirty I mean of course I took a shower I just had to put my hair in a shower cap I'll insert a clip of what it looked like before I washed it right now <laughs> so it has officially been three days since I got my Japanese permanent straightening treatment done on my hair in order for the um, treatment to work you have to let the chemicals set in your hair and neutralize for like three days to get the best results so I've just been using dry shampoo on my roots and it still isn't preventing me from being a grease ball like oh god so greasy I also woke up from a nap not too long ago and I'm also sick so I'm just like overall busted right now yes I will go wash this mop and come back once it is clean. But yeah, after I washed it, it dried straight. It dried fine. Um, it did still smell like the chemical a little bit, but that went away after a while. But after a week passed, it was fine. It dried straight, still silky, still soft. That's another thing. You would think this treatment, I mean, <clears throat> this treatment damages your hair. Like, it does. Like, there's no way around it. You're putting chemicals in your hair, you're straightening it and then putting more chemicals in your hair and you're blow drying it like it's going to damage your hair in some shape or form. Um, but the end product like the end result is such like soft and silky hair um, forever until it grows out that you don't really notice the damage. Like I can feel the dryness at the bottom and I can see split ends but it's no more than like the normal damage I'd get from just blow drying my hair or straightening it if even straightening it caused more damage than doing the permanent straightening if that makes sense but because of the treatment I don't straighten my hair I don't blow dry it I don't damage it with heat um, for like a whole year to two years. So I feel like in a way this treatment kind of like Promotes hair growth at least it did for me because I'm not really damaging it So it's allowed my hair to grow out pretty quickly. I mean it grew out my hair in like a year Like a year ago around this time my hair was like this long now it's like mm, Now it's like pretty long, past my boobs, almost, it's about belly button length, yeah. So the whole process costs $250 plus tip, and um, the next time I go in, I'm just gonna be getting the roots touched, so whatever grows out is what I'm gonna get straightened again. Um, so I'm sure it'll cost a lot less. Um, as I keep up with it, but the initial cost to do my roots till like here costed $250. Um, so yeah, that was the whole process and my opinions on it. So my opinion on it is I love it. I love it. Like I think I'm gonna be getting this done for the rest of my life or until I get tired of straight hair. It's just so easy to like wake up, wash my hair, leave the house, bring my little bang roller. I'll like wear this in the car as I'm going somewhere. And that's all I need. And my hair looks amazing. It looks done. It looks straight and silky and perfect. And it's just so nice. Because in the past, I would just like put aside so much time to like straighten my hair or fix it or just like make sure it looks nice and 
I'm like wasting money on products and straighteners and shampoos and special conditioners and now I can just use like the cheapest products and it'll still look good. Not that you should. Um, you should still, one thing that they recommend is to use keratin or Moroccan oil. So I bought one, I bought like a keratin uh, three-in-one Moroccan argan oil thing from Marshalls. So that's like the only fancy product that I put in my hair. Otherwise, I'll just use like regular suave shampoo and conditioner and I'll buy like um, a pack, like a treatment pack, like a mask and I'll like use that for a whole week and then I'll just keep on buying it and save it. But um, yeah, that's literally all I need to do. And it just, I just love it so much. I just like long straight hair. Um, on me. I just think it looks good. So that I think covers everything. If I miss something, make sure to like ask me in the comments or yeah, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section because there might have been a few things that I didn't touch on or forgot to say because I didn't make notes. I should have made notes. Um, but yeah, check out my cute pillow. It's Claude Monet. I just love it, it's so cute. Plus I painted it. Like, I think she likes Claude Monet. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> like and subscribe if you want. Only if you want. Um, I'm gonna start uploading more videos to this channel because I have a few videos already, but they're not as good or not good. I don't think they're good. So I want to start uploading more regularly and come out with some more quality content, so um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay, I should leave now. I'm gonna leave. I'm actually kind of hungry. I'm gonna get something to eat. Oh, I'll make a smoothie. Yummy. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye!